Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will show you that uh, tool tip uh, activity in UiPath, right? How to use it and uh, basically what is tool tip option like it's a display a pop-up with a title and text for a certain amount of time on a specific UI element, right? So I will use here like uh, tool tip option. So this is tool tip option right click here set as a start node then you can see certain properties over here and if i'll go to the content if i'll type here like uh, hello world and uh, in this part title i will give like uh, test automation right and double click over here indicate any elements let's suppose i'm uh, i want to display a message over here right now I will run this activity then you can see that uh, this is a test automation and hello world the uh, right so now it is stuck over here okay I need to just press okay so if you want that uh, it will display for certain amount of time then you need to give uh, like a timer over here how many seconds you want to just display here it so I will give it time like three seconds. Now I will run it. Then you can see that after three seconds it will automatically disappear. Now it has been disappeared automatically. So if you are just doing any automation and you, uh, you want to give this kind of uh, pop-up message and you can write whatever the text you wanted to type over here or required you can type over here right you can just give a name like this application is open right now and automatically three seconds that uh, it will automatically display uh, display and uh, after three seconds it will disappear from there and uh, instead of a uh, delay you can also give this as well right so it will display for whatever the time you will just put over here just like you can see that this uh, particular application uh, uh, just like if the, if the transaction is ongoing process something like that so i will give you another example as well like uh, i will use for edge activity for that i will use excel application scope right click here connect it with this and i have created some dummy database over here like so if i will open this file okay if i will open this file then you can see here like uh, months names are there like january february march april may june july august september to december we have right so we'll close it and i will give here like read range activity read range activity and this is sheet one we have a sheet one over there i will press control k and dt i will give it a name like a dt so this is the data table variable you can see it here like as well data table okay to dt created over here so i will delete this one so you can see that this variable it is showing over here so it, the scope is do so i will change it to the tooltip tooltip is like a this scope right and uh, then i will use for each activity for each activity and i will give it like dt then I will use tooltip activity and let's suppose uh, I am just running this uh, suppose I am running any automation and this page appear front of me then I will give it a name like I will click here and uh, I can say like uh, this is my yahoo page I will give it title like this and in content option I can give the row number as well so I will say like row dot uh, item zero dot two string right and uh, i will give it a time like two second every two second it will display a message and now i will run it so let's see what happened great open up the excel file So this is February, March, 
after 2 seconds uh, you would be able to see that automatically this uh, this display message is just disappearing right and you can also give uh, instead of delay you can give this screen tp as well like you would be able to find if you will find any element in your application or outside of application as well like in desktop you can give any icon and uh, you can select that particular icon then automatically this pop up message will be disappear so suppose you are using re framework and uh, you have multiple transactions right if you have thousand transactions over there so transaction is running and uh, you cannot go and check output every single of time right that uh, which transaction is running basically so you can use this tooltip activity and you can just whatever the windows or whatever the application or web browser is open for at that particular time just you can just find out any element and uh, you can give this tooltip activity and uh, instead of like a row and item you can give uh, like a transaction on item or transaction number dot to string then whatever the transaction would be running at that particular time it will display over here and then in you can you would be able to understand that which transaction is running right now how much time this bot will take time to complete all the transactions right so you can use this activity in uh, your automation as well this is a very good activity right so i hope you would like this video thank you for watching have a nice day